You don't want anything to impact uh, any part of your life, but medicine and your health, your well-being, uh, it is, it's sad. Hundreds and possibly thousands of North Carolinians are holding off on picking up their prescription medications following a massive cyber attack. Change Healthcare, a national prescription processor, has been offline for eight days now after a ransomware group gained access to its network. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young is here now. And Taylor, this is extremely concerning for a lot of people. It really is. You know, I think as a nation, we may have become a little bit numb to cyber attacks, the headlines of them, the news of them, because they're happening so frequently. But when we're talking about people in our neighborhood that are unable to get their prescriptions or are having to fork over hundreds of dollars for medication, that maybe two weeks ago cost them zero dollars. It feels a lot more real. So this all started last Wednesday. The majority of pharmacies in Charlotte and across the country were going about their normal business when the system they used to process prescriptions went down. The system is run by Change Health and acts as a middleman between the pharmacy and the insurer. So you go to the counter, hand over your health insurance card, and within seconds, you know how much you owe. Now it's that system that has been hacked. Now this does do a couple of things. So if you're if you are someone um, who doesn't have their insurance card for for some reason, um, it prevents the pharmacist from knowing if you're eligible for coverage. It also impacts Medicare patients and it also prevents the use of coupons, which are extremely common. The Charlotte pharmacist we spoke with says this is impacting about 15% of his customers, but expects offices with an older clientele to be impacted even more. And we've also had some people say, well, you know, I can't afford the $300. Then I'll say, well, another avenue is to call your doctor. Tell your doctor that particular medicine is, is part of this whole cyber attack. Can't use the coupon. Maybe your doctor will prescribe a different medication that's not $300. And almost always there's a substitute, but that's the process. they got to call their doctor. they got to be seen or talked to, and that takes you know, a day or two. So it's just, it's just painful. Taylor, what do we know about the group behind the hack? So we know that there are thousands of hacking groups out there. This one in particular has come out and publicized that it is behind it. So it's taking ownership of this hack. Um, it is called Black Cat. And no, we don't know too much about who these people are right now or where they come from, but we do know that they want money. And this is why they're publicizing and showing proof that they've hacked into this company because it really puts pressure on Change Health to fork over the money. How long were we thinking this could last? So the pharmacist here in Charlotte, he told me that he was told when this first happened, maybe one day, maybe two days, maybe a week. Now he's being told maybe a whole other week. So not only is this um, preventing people um, from getting their prescriptions or having to pay more, but pharmacists are really concerned that when this system does come back online, that they will be overwhelmed um, because they don't keep all of these different prescriptions, you know, high volume of them um, in their stores all at once. So there are, there's a little bit concern that the system then won't be able to handle the influx of all those customers coming in. So, well, we know it's a story you'll certainly stay on top of. Taylor Absolutely. Young, thank you for that.